Ελπίζω να είστε καλά. Καλώς ήρθατε στο Gastronomy Lab, ε, όπου για τέσσερις μέρες ε, έχουμε προσκεκλημένους Έλληνες και ξένους σεφ με θεματολογία η οποία είναι up to date και είναι και το μέλλον, το τι θα συμβεί στη μαγειρική, ζαχαροπλαστική και αρτοπία. Ε, μέσα στο τετραήμερο αυτό έχουμε τη χαρά να βραβεύσουμε και τέσσερα εστιατόρια για τη μοναδική γαστρονομική αλλά και zero food waste φιλοσοφία τους. Ένα από αυτά είναι η αμέσως μετά παρουσίαση που θα κάνουμε και βράβευση στο εστιατόριο Καντίνα από τη Σύφνο. Όμως τώρα έχω τη χαρά να σας παρουσιάσω την Εκόλ Ρίτζε Σκοφιέ από το θρηλυκό ξενοδοχείο Ρίτζ στο Παρίσι. Ένα ξενοδοχείο θρύλος πραγματικά και η σχολή η οποία έχει πάρει το όνομά της από τον μεγάλο ε, Ογκώστο Σκοφιέ. Ε, ε, Ουσιαστικά, επειδή συνεργαζόμαστε πάρα πολλά χρόνια με τη σχολή, προσωπικά εγώ δηλαδή μαζί με τη σχολή, από το 2004, η οποία ήταν και η πρώτη μου συνεργασία με, κάποια γαλλική, έτσι, με κάποιο γαλλικό μεγάλο όνομα, είναι μέσα στην καρδιά μου γιατί πραγματικά το ξενοδοχείο είναι καταπληκτικό, η σχολή είναι ακόμα πιο ωραία και για να μην πω πολλά, έχουμε σήμερα τον καθηγητή Μάρτιν Μιλουέτ από τη σχολή, καθηγητή ζαχαροπλαστικής, όπου θα μας φτιάξει ένα lactose-free ε, κρύο επιδόρπιο που θα έχουμε τη χαρά να δοκιμάσουμε όλοι στο τέλος. Και είναι και πάρα πολύ ωραίο εντυπωσιακό και οπτικά. Πριν πω όμως κάτι, είναι μαζί του ο Θέμης Οικονομίδης, ο οποίος είναι απόφυτος της, ε, της σχολής Ecole Ridge Scofie ε, στο τμήμα της Αχαροπλαστικής και ήρθε να βοηθήσει τον σεφ. Σεφ, before we say something, I propose for the ones who don't know, to check on a video. So come here with me. Αυτό ήταν ένα μικρό demo της σχολής. Όταν, αν βρεθείτε ποτέ στο Παρίσι και περάσετε να τη δείτε, το οποίο ανά πάση στιγμή μπορείτε να μπείτε μέσα και να δείτε τη σχολή, ε, εκεί θα δείτε και θα γνωρίσετε την ε, υπεύθυνη της σχολής, η κυρία Γιούλη Φερνάντες, η οποία ήρθε μαζί με το σεφ ταξίδεσε από το Παρίσι και θα μας πει δύο λόγια. Hello, Γιούλη, it's nice to have you here. Hi, in Athens. Hi, thank you. Well, just a few bro words. First of all, to thank Harry and Gastronomy Essentials because it's thanks to him and uh, um, his invitation that we are here today. I am very glad it's my first time in Greece. It's our first time uh, in, uh, in Athens and uh, very proud of representing the, the Ecole Ritz Escoffier. So I am the sales manager in charge of all the promotion of the school abroad. Uh, Harry has been representing us for 20 years now which is amazing that like one of the very first persons that uh, represented the school abroad. We are celebrating our 35th anniversary this year uh, of the Ecole Ritz des Coffier, and uh, I'm so glad we are here in Eureka to start the celebration. So um, Martin is one of uh, four um, teachers at the school. We have two teachers in pastry, two teachers in cuisine. We have a 14-week program uh, in cuisine, 14 in pastry. I am very proud to have Themis with us. So Themis is, was one of the, our first, I would say the first Greek student at the school. Uh, he did the culinary arts program, so he completed pastry and then cuisine. And here, he, I'm very, very happy to have him today because he's assisting Martin. And I know he's doing a, a great job here in, in uh, working in Surreal which you know, it's a, it's a, it's a very well-known store here in, in Athens and Thessaloniki. So um, I wish you to have a great time with Martin. I hope you will enjoy the, 
the demo and I will be in uh, around if you have any questions if you want to see me. Thanks, Mary. Thank you very much, Yuli. So, Chef. Yes. Okay, I leave, yeah. Yeah, yes, I leave you with Emis to present us this yeah. amazing dessert. Okay, thank you, Ari. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. So, they introduced me, so you know everything about me now. Um, what I will show you today is uh, layers cake, uh, winter layers cake. Uh, with uh, four preparation, four different preparation. Um, inside we have uh, coconut, apple, green apple, uh, lime, and um, and vanilla. Yeah. Uh, it's a lactose-free cake. Okay, so I replace every dairy product by uh, coconut oil and uh, and uh, vegan cream, vegan cream and uh, a vegan uh, chocolate for. Uh, have no lactose inside, okay? Um, so we have uh, one crunchy base, uh, one biscuit, uh, sponge biscuit with sponge cake, okay? Um, with uh, on the top um, coffee with uh, apple dice in, inside. Uh, we have a shizo as well. Shizo is, uh, I will show you after, uh, it's uh, leaves, Japan leaves, Japan uh, herbs. Uh, it's very, very tasty. I love it. And uh, we have a coconut ganache, wheat ganache. Uh, very, very fluffy, very, very light. Um, and what I wanted to show you today is uh, different tricks, different uh, way to, to see uh, things. Uh, I will show you uh, uh, tricks like um, make a, sp a spider uh, effect on the cake, but inside the cake, not uh, on the top, not on, in the glaze. Okay. <laughs> Um, so we will start by uh, doing the confit, and like that we, okay. we have time to, to freeze it. Sure. Um, so let's go. Jessica. Okay. Ουσιαστικά τώρα θα ξεκινήσουμε με ένα κομφί το οποίο θα μπει μέσα και θέλει λίγη ώρα στο ψυγείο για να σετάρει, οπότε θα ξεκινήσουμε με αυτό. So in uh, this confit we we use uh, apple juice, um, lemon zest, lime le lime zest. Uh, this is um, lime lime juice as well, sugar and pectin. Okay. So like any confit, I uh, will put uh, the juice in the pan first to warm a bit at 40 degrees approximately. I will mix sugar and uh, pectin, very important things to, to mix them together before adding the pan. I will use uh, gelatin as well uh, because uh, I will froze, I will free, I put it in the freezer as a, as a confit. So make sure uh, after freezing it's not going uh, uh, wet, because the water going not going uh, out uh, the cake. I put a bit of gelatin for make sure the apple stay well. Okay. So just when your apple juice is warm, you mix a bit sugar with pectin and you can add it in the same time you, you whisk it. Make sure you don't have lumps inside and you will bring it to, to boil, well boil. And at the end, out the fire, we will add a lemon juice, okay? We use uh, lemon juice for uh, taste, of course, and uh, acidity, because um, the acidity uh, um, makes pectin stronger. Gelatin is here. Uh, I don't put uh, 
lime zest for now because uh, lime zest uh, have to keep it the, it's green and if I put uh, now it's gonna be too hot and uh, lime zest gonna uh, being brown and it's not pretty it's not what I want okay so just well good uh, boil I put lemon juice and gelatin. Άρα αυτό που κάναμε είναι να ζεστάνουμε τον ε, χυμό μήλου, μετά ανακατέψαμε ζάχαρη με πικτίνη, ε, έβρασε και μετά πρόσθεσα το χυμό λάιμ και την μάζα ζελατίνης. It's gonna set uh, very, very fast, I think. Okay. During this uh, chilling, we we will uh, cut the uh, apple to put them uh, inside the coffee. Okay. Uh, so there. So when the coffee will set, will set, I will blend it, and I will add the cheese olives. Is this okay? Um, it's like um, cumin, cumin. In uh, some cumin or taste. taste. Seems like that. I will add um, um, caviar. Αυτά είναι λεμόνι που ουσιαστικά μέσα έχουν κάτι σαν χαβιάρ είναι σε αυτή τη μορφή. It's, it's very, I really like it because uh, inside you have a, like a little uh, a balls of uh, lime and uh, when you, you hit it, sometimes you have explosion of, uh, of lime. Uh, it's very, very interesting to use it uh, in a pastry or any cuisine. It's very fresh. So, I'm, I will show you how I'm doing. Uh, I'm using this. I press a bit like this, open it, knife, and you see inside it's uh, like this, very, very strong flavor. Knife I will do. And uh, Shizo, um, We can just uh, cut like this in a small pieces, but if you have a lot of uh, lot of to do, the tricks is uh, put them the leaves in a freezer with uh, uh, in the blender, like a thermomix. You put all everything in the thermomix, and uh, you mix it uh, when you eat, uh, you blend it when it's very very uh, cold, and it's making uh, a very nice uh, pieces of uh, of leaves. And doesn't make it uh, a brown. Okay. Apple. I will do a brinoise with it, a thin brinoise. Um, So I use a Granny Smith because uh, it's very, very fresh apple. Um, uh, the goal it was uh, to make a winter cake, but very, very, uh, win very fresh winter cake. Uh, for seem like you are in summer, and uh, I know. We just got to go to Bruno Az, who means a micro kivaki, the Milo.
This is literally dies like this. Okay. And I will add the, the config just after. And the, the goal of the config is just there for coat the hopper and make sure they are, are not uh, being brown, OK? And, um, and have something, a uh, good taste of uh, different texture with lime, um, chiso, and, uh, and apple dice. Θέλουμε να έχουμε διαφορετικέ υφέ μέσα στο μείγμα. Οπότε είναι πολύ σημαντικό το μήλο για να μην οξυδωθεί. Να το ανακατέψουμε μετά κατευθείαν με το gel που έχουμε ετοιμάσει από προηγουμένω για να μην ε, μαυρίσει. Okay. So the confi is enough set. So I I will just blend it. And add it with the apple. So just blend it for uh, have a creamy texture more than a, a classic confit. Uh, what I, I do is I put a bit, a bit more uh, pectin inside, like it's very, very strong gel. But I mix it after, and I have a, a more uh, smooth texture uh, in mouth. It's very interesting to do this. I can add it to the apple dice. And I have a confit like that with uh, apple dice inside. It looks very, very yummy, very, very fresh. And you will taste it after. It's very fresh for sure. So we let it uh, this, just chill a bit, set, and I will do the biscuit, sponge cake, and uh, we will put this on the uh, sponge cake, and this is going to be uh, the insert, okay? And don't forget the lime. So, the sponge cake, it's a coconut and, a coconut and vanilla one. So it's very easy sponge cake and very, very tasty and moist. Um, so, uh -huh. I, replace, um, I replace the butter by a coconut oil, okay? Like uh, coconuts have oil very, very uh, thick. It looks like butter and have the same texture of butter. So it's very nice for uh, doing things with, with uh, lactose or, or no dairy inside. So it's very simple. You, it's, you put everything instead of uh, white egg in the, in the Thermomix. Τώρα θα κάνουμε ένα αντισπάνι ουσιαστικά, ένα σπόντς και βάζουμε όλα τα υλικά μέσα στο θερμομίξ θα τα ανακατέψουμε όλα μαζί. Και 
And the white egg, we will whip it in the... Um, in the in the stand mixer I had a coconut uh, a, a grounded coconut like this uh, instead um, almond powder I, I did uh, I put both of them And so very simple, just makes them very, very strong in the, during a long time. You can uh, let it uh, very, very long, take a volume, take your air inside uh, the Thermomix. It doesn't matter, uh, you can forget it. What is very important, it's, not, it's more the egg white. You have to make sure you don't whip it too much. Uh, if not, it's going to be too set, too strong, and we ha will have a difficulty to, to add them at uh, the dough, what we will mix. So it's making a, a dough like that, okay. So it's quite thick. So we have to be careful when we will uh, mix them together with the uh, egg white. Uh, not warm, but it's it's going to be a, a 40, 45 degrees. It doesn't matter well. Just not hot because you have eggs inside. Make sure it's not cooking eggs. We will cook the biscuit uh, on a tray. Um, what I like to when I cook a, a biscuit, it's try to keep the most uh, moist uh, uh, biscuit. Uh, so I cook very like high temperature, 10 minutes, and when I take off the oven, I put straight away things on it or put in the, in the freezer on a blast chiller. So I make sure the, the moist of the uh, biscuits keep inside it. Okay, we have to start this. Um, during this, I will show you the crunchy base. Uh, crunchy base, it's quite a, very simple as well. We, uh, we will do a crumble, uh, but we, instead the butter, I put uh, uh, coconut oil as well. Uh, so it's there. I cook the crumble. Uh, 20 minutes at uh, 160, just uh, for make sure it's uh, it's well cooked and with uh, almond uh, granite almond as well. And when it's cooked and uh, cold, I add uh, the chocolate, but it's not it's white chocolate, but it's not uh, with a milk powder inside. Okay, so um, the brand is uh, Linolat. It's vegan chocolate, okay, it's like this. Uh, they replace uh, the milk the milk powder by uh, almond powder. So if you want to taste it, uh, I can give you if you want to. Μπορείτε να δοκιμάσετε σοκολάτα, είναι χωρίς λακτόζι, είναι vegan. So the crumble is very simple uh, too. 
It's everything in the Thermomix you can do in the stand mixer too, but it's very, very simple in, with the Thermomix. So you had a brown sugar. Almond powder, coconut powder too, Τώρα θα κάνουμε τη βάση του τραγανό κομμάτι, για το οποίο θα κάνουμε πρώτα ένα κράμπλ το οποίο θα βάλουμε στο φούρνο και μετά θα προσθέσουμε κάποια άλλα πραγματάκια και λευκή σοκολάτα που είναι vegan αυτή που είπαμε και θα το ετοιμάσουμε για να γίνει η βάση της ε, τούρτας. Flour and coconut oil. So this is for the crumble. We will mix it just a few seconds in the Thermomix. It's gonna make a crumble very, very fast. See it's making like this, a crumble. You put this in the oven. Uh, after cook, you put, add a granola almond and feuillantine. Add the chocolate, melted chocolate, and it's gonna make uh, Where is the finished one? There. Thing like that, okay? I will not, not. I don't have enough time to show you how uh, to cook them, but it's 20 minutes, uh, one sixty. So the egg white is ready. So in the first time we had a, a bit of uh, egg white in the first dough. Just what like I, I mix them. I, I, I can't hear you, sorry. Should it stay in the fridge, the biscuit? Should it stay? Should we put it in the fridge? The fridge? Yeah, the biscuit. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes, of course. Just make sure it's uh, well, um, uh, well, things on the top for make sure it's not drying. So the first mix, you can be strong, you can go fast, and after we have to be. A delicate and gently, okay? I use uh, a brown sugar because uh, brown sugar keep more moist biscuit, you know? And uh, it's more tasty than a white sugar. I prefer in uh, any sponge cake, any biscuit, uh, I really like to, to add a, a brown sugar instead of a white one. Yeah, exactly. You have to make sure you don't break the egg and keep uh, the volume inside uh, the biscuit for sure. 
it should look like this. You don't have to have something too liquid, okay? And when it's combined, don't touch it anymore. You just have to have something homogen. And sometimes uh, we used to, to, to want to make something perfectly uh, homogen in the first time. Just, we need just to combine all everything. Don't mix too much, okay? So this is, we'll uh, cook it, but I already made one. Just there. You want to so after when it's cooked, I try to do uh, something very thick, okay? Because I like when uh, we have a very very uh, a big sponge cake for have a lot of texture and keep very most the biscuit. If it's too it's not it's too thin, not uh, enough uh, a big like this. Uh, it's gonna dry too too much and uh, it's not gonna be tasty very well. So on this biscuit. Uh, I will put this in the ring and it's now I'm using the confit put on it. So this is the insert, okay? It's look like this. But I already did one for sure. When it's freeze, it's look like that, okay? So I will use it for do the, uh, I will whip the, the mousse, the ganache monté, and we'll show you how uh, I do the montage. But before, I have to show you the tricks for make a spider uh, effect on the cake. Maybe it's the most important things today. Um, So what I'm talking about when I'm uh, talking about uh, spider effect is this one, okay? It's a uh, glaze and a very, very thin uh, pistachio powder for have a green without any coloring powder, okay? So what are you, what are you doing for do this effect? It's take a clear glaze, okay? Με, για να κάνουμε αυτό το εφέ που είναι σαν αράχνη ουσιαστικά, λέει ο σεφ, ε, χρησιμοποιούμε ένα γλάσο ουδέτερο ε, που υπάρχει γενικά στην αγορά και θα βάλουμε πολύ λεπτή πούδρα από φιστίκι και θα σας δείξω ακριβώς πώς θα το κάνει. What you have to make sure you melt the glaze with uh, just a bit of water and what is very important is uh, the density of, uh, of glaze. If it's too, too thick, it's not gonna make a, a well effect, and if it's too light as well. Ανακατεύουμε το γλάσο με λίγο νερό, και έχει πολύ σημασία για το πώς θα είναι η φύ. So I just put with a brush glaze inside the mold, and you can see it's make a spider, but you you can see because it's clear now. But I will put pistachio powder inside. All have to be in the level of. So this is a pistachio powder, very thin. In the mold.
Make sure order going everywhere. And you have this effect now. So it's going to be very, very cool when you will make a cake inside it. Okay? But for now, it's still uh, wet. So what you have to do is put it in the oven at uh, 450 degrees, very low, okay, during an half an hour for dry the glaze, okay? And when it's well dry, you can uh, do your cake inside. Okay. So this one is already dry. So I will uh, make, I will show you how to do a, a cake inside. So we will. Uh, we'll I already did um, with ganache, okay, with uh, a white chocolate, vegan white chocolate. Uh, you you just taste it. How was it? Was good. Uh, white ganache, uh, white ganache have to made uh, the day before, okay, always, and more when vegan one, okay. So, like it's very very. Um, very, very delicate products, like uh, you don't have a lactose inside. Uh, make sure your bowl is in the freezer or uh, very, very cold. Ο Σεφ λέει ότι, ότι είναι πολύ σημαντικό να είναι το μπολ πριν σε κατάψυξη. Θα βοηθήσει πάρα πολύ στη διαδικασία, επειδή η κρέμα δεν έχει λακτόζη, αλλά δεν είναι ζωικά. Δεν έχει ζωικό λίπο, άρα θα είναι πιο δύσκολο να αποκτήσει αυτή την, την υφή που θέλουμε, σαν κανά. Γι' αυτό και θέλουμε να είναι παγωμένοι για να είμαστε σίγουροι ότι θα, θα έχει τη σωστή υφή. So it's quite uh, more long to, to whip it well, not like a, a normal ganache. So we will use the insert, just I show you, with the biscuit on the base. And I will put a ganache and make sure you, we don't have a elbow ball inside. And uh, put it in, uh, let it in the freezer very long time for make sure the glaze of the spider effect is very, very well, uh, um, very, very well uh, frozen for make sure it's not breaking when we taking off the mold the cake. Η γανάς είναι πολύ ευαίσθητη επειδή περιέχει και ζελατίνη και έχουμε και την κρέμα και τη σοκολάτα. Άρα αν τη χτυπήσουμε παραπάνω, θα, σίγουρα θα, θα έχει κομματάκια μέσα, το οποίο δεν το θέλουμε. Οπότε προσέχουμε πάρα πολύ την υφή που θα έχει. Okay, so this is the crunchy base when uh, I had uh, chocolate inside and I put, I use a ring and press a bit for make a base of cake. Uh, what I do is uh, this cake I put on the crunchy base at the end, okay? Το τραγανό κομμάτι που έχουμε εδώ θέλουμε να είναι στη βάση. You see the whip ganache, how is it? Not too much. 
Like that is enough. Okay. Uh, can we whip the canals in a package yet or not? Uh, I never tried this. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't do any promise. Try it. I think it should be work, yeah? Because it doesn't have any fat from uh, the milk, the cream doesn't have any fat from a cow or it's, it's yeah, vegan? It should be the same, just... Uh, you have a fat of uh, cacao. Uh, I think it's enough, for sure. So I make sure I don't have a air bubble by cake, okay? And have enough cream inside. This. I take my answers. And the goal is to have the biscuit just straight and uh, add the uh, we have to see it, you know, just on the top and finish like this. Okay. And put them in the freezer. Okay. When you, uh, you almond it and mold it, I already did it, of course. It looks like this. Okay? So, like it's already with a glaze on it, uh, we don't need to, to put a, a glaze more, but we can uh, spray uh, a very thin layer of uh, glaze, uh, a white, uh, clear glaze, okay? Just for protect the mousse. And uh, for finishing touch cheese, uh, yeah. we will spray it. And I will put a ganache, piping ganache on it. And um, herb, shizo herbs. Αυτό είναι το ίδιο γλάσο που είδαμε και πριν και τώρα θα το βάλουμε στον αερογράφο έτσι ώστε να ψεκάσουμε με το γλάσο μετά την, ε, την τούρτα μας. A line like this. Okay. Um. The caviar of the lime, I will use it. Pillar, pillar, pillar. Like this, you see. I put just a bit on it. Better my piece. Okay. 
I like to use uh, coconuts as well. So I do a copo. Like this. And she's all dress. Like this. Okay. I will cut one for you can see inside it. Look like this. Sorry? Uh, no, it's still frozen a bit inside, but uh, it, it's not the frozen dessert. It should be like a uh, fridge temperature. You will taste it. Uh, I did a, a little one in a glass for you. Okay? I will give you two. You bring them? So you see, you have. The crunchy base, biscuit, uh, the confit with apple inside, and chiso, uh, citron caviar, and, uh, and lime, and the coconut uh, with ganache. You will taste it and you will uh, tell me uh, how you find this. It's very, very fresh for sure. Okay, do you have any question? You have many. You will see me after. Okay. Um, so I think good. Πολύ να ρωτήσετε κάτι αν θέλετε τον σεφ. Θα σας ακούω. There's a... Ναι, can we put the, the biscuit on, uh, on in the middle or in the on the bottom? Um, yes, you can, but just uh, you have to make sure the texture is uh, good. Like if you cut uh, the cake and the biscuit is too is harder than what it's just down the biscuit, it's gonna crush the cake. So that's why I use uh, this way to put the biscuit. I prefer to put one big biscuit than two thin biscuits. Okay, it's more tasty for me. It's my uh, how I like it. Okay. Another question. It is good. Fresh. The glaze? Ah, yes. Uh, 50. Yeah, just for dry it. Make sure uh, it's not too hot. If not, it's going to melt. And it's not, you will be lost the spider away. Okay? And you, we will use the pistachio powder, but we can use uh, any powder. Vanilla powder, uh, raspberry powder. I already used it. Or do uh, uh, raspberry cake, uh, any powder that you can, but color red powder is better, of course. Of course. Okay. Good. Perfect. Yes. Nice. Yeah, very good. Uh, maybe I can give you, a, if you want to try, just uh, the sponge cake. You have it. You have it. No? Oh, it's frozen. <laughs> So it's finished for me. If you have uh, any question, uh, you can ask me. Uh, you can come to see me after, and uh, if you want to have a private question or any anything else. So um, I'm so happy to be there with uh, with you, and thank you, Harry, to have it me there. In my was my first time in Greece, and uh, sure, I will be back. Αν είναι η πρώτη του φορά, ένα χειροκρότημα μεγάλο. Thank you.